Dear students, welcome to geography class. Today let's learn about plateaus. What do you mean by a plateau? A plateau is a large mass of comparatively flat land that rises abruptly from the surrounding area. Do you get an image or concept of a plateau? If not, listen here. Let's examine our definition. A plateau is a large mass of comparatively flat land. See, large mass of comparatively flat land that rises abruptly from the surrounding area. I hope the concept of plateau is clear now. Its surface can be undulating and it usually has steep slopes on one or more sides. So it's not necessarily be clear flat. The terrain or the surface may be undulating and it has got steep slopes either in one side or in many sides. So that we can call this plateau as a table land. I hope the concept of plateau is clear now. Let's examine which are the types of plateaus. Based on formation, plateaus can be classified into three types. Let us see what are they. Tectonic plateaus, that's gonna be the first one. And in tectonic plateaus, again there are three types of tectonic plateaus. Let us see which are they. Continental, Intermountain and Piedmont plateaus. These are the types of tectonic plateaus. The second type of plateau is residual plateau. And the final one is volcanic plateaus. Now let's learn them in detail. We're going to learn about the first type of or the category of plateau that is tectonic plateaus. How it is being formed? During the continental drift, billions of years ago, the ancient land mass got separated. Okay, that's how the continents are formed. Today, it exists as a continental blocks in various continents. These are called tectonic plateaus. As we move further, I hope this concept will be clear. Depending on their location, these plateaus can be divided into, as we have seen, into three. Continental, Intermountain and Piedmont Plateaus. Continental Plateau rise abruptly from the adjacent lowland or sea. We have a picture here. See, here continental plateau rises abruptly from the adjacent lowland or sea. Here it is a, a water body. This is what a continental plateau. Intermountain plateau. The term is well explanatory. This kind of plateau are enclosed by mountain ranges. It lies in between the mountains or this plateau is surrounded by mountains. That's why it is called intermountain plateaus. 
Piedmont plateaus are formed at the foot of the mountains. It's not that everywhere is surrounded by mountains, but just at the foot of the mountains, like here. See here there is mountain and at the foot of the mountain there is a plateau. So these are the three types of tectonic plateaus. Second type of plateau that is residual plateaus. What is its speciality? We have learned about block mountains in the previous session. I hope you remember the lesson. So the old fold mountains or block mountains worn down by millions of years of erosion sometimes they get converted into plateaus and they are known as residual plateaus. Either old fold mountains or block mountains due to erosion they may convert into a type of plateaus they are called residual plateaus. I hope this concept is clear. We have volcanic plateau as the third type. So the term and picture is well explanatory. Volcanic eruption leads to formation of layers of lava. Lava sheets, these solidifies to form volcanic plateaus. So it is very simple. So these are the major types of plateaus. Mainly we have three types. They are tectonic plateaus, residual plateaus and volcanic plateaus. In tectonic plateaus we have seen there are three types of plateaus. Continental, Intermountain and Piedmont plateaus. Here is a table which explains type and the examples. The continental plateau. So for continental plateau, we have examples Chota Nagpur in India, South Africa, Western Australia. For intermountain plateaus, we have Tibet, Bolivia, Great Basin in the USA and Iran. For Piedmont Plateau, we have Patagonia in Argentina. Residual Plateau, we have Field in Scandinavia, Cumberland in the USA and Central Rhine in Germany. So these are the examples for Residual Plateau. Coming to the matter of volcanic plateaus, Deccan in India, Ethiopia, Snake in the USA, Andrim in the Northern Ireland. So these are the examples for volcanic plateau. Now let's learn what are the importance of plateaus. Can you guess what it is? See, all the plateaus are storehouse of minerals. So, in India, the Deccan and the Chota Nagpo plateaus have vast reserves of coal, iron ore, manganese and bauxite. So, loads of mining works take place there. The plateaus provide us loads of minerals. That is the first and foremost importance of the plateaus. Let's move on to the second and third. Since the plateaus are a table land, there are possibilities for waterfalls. I hope this picture will explain you. See this waterfall comes from the top of a plateau. 
so there is a possibility for constructing hydro electricity plant so that we can produce electricity cheaply the victoria falls in africa niagara falls in north america and the jog falls in india are some examples so the second importance plateaus provide waterfalls which are very useful for hydroelectricity let's move on to the next volcanic plateaus are extremely fertile and good for cultivation of cotton and sugarcane so the soil which we get from solidification of magma and lava is extremely fertile and it is very good for cultivation thus we can have a cotton field or sugarcane field in the volcanic plateaus and next as we all like the plateaus and the water waterfalls attracts a lot of tourist so the tourism grows near to the plateaus so here we conclude this session plateaus and its importance see you soon with the next video thank you